So we got a whole lot of snow last night. So we gotta shut out the goats. But right now they're getting water. We'll get them hay. So a little goat shelter that we built, um, I'll link to a video right here. Uh, we built it out of mostly, well the frame we built all out of cedar that we had hanging around this whole cedar swamp. Uh, stuff that was either down or um, not really healthy. Um, yeah, so it's working out pretty good. We got six inches of super wet snow. Um, well, probably about four inches yesterday of super wet snow. And then another uh, maybe four today. And it's gonna be snowing all day. and. It's dry in here for them. Uh, no snow comes in through these cracks because it's all kind of shiplapped, uh, like overlapped like that. Um, and there's no door for it, but it's been a really mild winter. We haven't even had any really negative temperatures this year yet. It's January, um, where typically this part of Vermont gets down to negative 30 some nights. So um, if we keep on having a mild winter, I think they'll be really uh, they'll be good in this shelter uh, with or without a door um, So maybe we'll build a door once we get some more boards and stuff. This is all just hemlock boards that we use for the front um, And it's doing pretty good A lot of snow on the roof uh, sort of flat roof not flat, but it's um, Very shallowly pitched so we might have to shovel that off today because there's a lot of wet snow on it But all in all I think they're pretty happy with it and uh, we're pretty happy with it, too. And this is a pretty good little easy simple structure when we didn't have much building material um, and this isn't going to be their barn forever because uh, she is probably bred and will have a kid this uh, spring hopefully um, hopefully it's not too early in the season in February or March hopefully it's more like April uh, so yeah they're gonna we're gonna have to expand um, and build a barn at some point we don't know where we're gonna do that uh, there's a pretty levelish field over here with sort of a slope. Um, so the slope is actually beneficial. We might might try to build into the slope so that we can access the top from up there and then also access the bottom from here. You know, having double uh, access on two floors, ground level access on two floors would be pretty cool. And be able to store their hay in there. Right, yeah, because we'd be getting the hay. We'd be bringing in hay from up there. We wouldn't bring it all the way down from, you know. So that might be a... Uh, that might be an idea um, We yeah, we got a lot of thinking to do about that and got a lot of time before that happens anyway but This is adorable, I love it <laughs> So with all that snow the chickens and ducks will be staying in and they're not very happy about it um, We have to keep giving them food because not all the ones up here on the roost get food and Herbie is locked up because he attacks our pearl So yeah um, everybody's really warm though. It's nice and warm in here. They have light. They can see us in that window too. So I'm gonna finish feeding them and giving them water. Shoe into the truck to see if the road is plowed up there. Um, we don't really need to go anywhere. We just wanna want to go for a walk, so we decided to go be productive and take a walk to the truck and see if it's plowed. Um, actually, I should say I'm snowshoeing. Sequoia isn't because she's just walking in our tire tracks and she has like these little LL Bean snowshoes that are like this big and they don't really have any flotation. My mission is to make some, so I'm gonna find some good cedar, steam bend it. Use the rawhide we have. They use ash. That's what I meant to say. Ash. Sorry. No cedar. <laughs> um, so we need to, yeah, she thinks she's gonna find some ash to do that. But in the interim, I think we should get you some bigger snowshoes. We'll look on Craigslist or 
find some used snowshoes that she can get. Uh, so we can push you up there. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but you see all these crazy tire tracks up this hill. Um, this is the, the big hill that we always dread sledding up or, um, or driving up when it's really snowy. And in yesterday's case, uh, there was a few inches of really wet, slushy, heavy snow, which melted all the snow that was already on the driveway, not driveway, the road. Um, it's gonna be snow. Ah, so see. We make a tincture of this. Um, it's really good for respiratory issues, or you can make a tea. It's also a great natural antibiotic that fights a lot of um, infections. Infections. Yeah, there's a there's so. actually research that this stuff and extract of this stuff it's a lichen, so it's a it's a basically a hybrid between um, a plant and a fungus, and um, it's there's research that it can fight. Uh, Antibiotic resistant MRSA, right? Or is it staph? Either way. Antibiotic um, resistant infection. <laughs> yeah. Wicked cool stuff. We always find it. Um, it only grows where the air is really pure, uh, where the oxygen is really clean. And uh, we usually, we don't pick it from trees because it takes forever to grow. So we find it a lot of time after a windstorm on the ground, right? Or uh, when trees fall. Sometimes there's uh, lots of it on the fallen trees. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, so we try. We drove. We drove up here yesterday, after the snow had started uh, yesterday, last yesterday evening actually, um, and we got stuck a few times. We got stuck right there, right where the the, the hill starts to steepen. Had to back all the way up. Uh, got stuck right about there, trying to back up further. Um, then backed up further, further and give it a second try. And we finally made it up after seeing the tires spin and snow well, we did go use, everywhere. We did use wood ash and evergreen boughs to get some grip. We always keep wood ash in the back of our truck because we make it and it's great for sand. And Better than salt, yeah. It really is. Uh, it melts snow and ice super quick. So yeah, yesterday was kind of fun getting up there. I'm not sure if we'll be driving in anymore this year unless we get a, a real uh, thaw and a lot of the snow melts. We've had maybe six inches and we drove in on top of that um, I think you if you've been watching you saw the last video where we walked up to the, the truck and then we ended up driving back Because uh, we had we were packing the snow down, but after yesterday's snow where it was just wet and um, Really hard to drive through. I'm not sure if we'll be driving up this anymore. Uh, so we'll just sled in and out like we planned on doing all winter. We've had a pretty mild winter so far, so uh, we were, you know, sort of spoiled by driving in and out. But now we're gonna do the sled and the snowshoeing and all that uh, like we like we usually do, like we planned on doing. I mean, so it's not plowed, um, which is not a big deal because we don't have to leave today. Uh, we don't have to leave really for the next week or so, I guess. Um, We've got plenty of food, so I guess it, even if we had to stay in for three weeks, we could stay in for three weeks. We also um, went and introduced ourselves, because there's an old lady that lives it's still a ways away, but we went and introduced ourselves finally because we're already here. Right, uh, so Shikoi and I and Mrs. Hunt are the only residents on this road. Down that way, where Coda is, about three quarters of a mile is the closest uh, town plowed, plowed road and that's where our mailboxes are and that's where like all the power lines are. Um, here's where we park and then our place is up that way about another three quarters of a mile um, maybe a little less than that maybe about a half mile then down this road right here uh, probably about another three quarters of a mile probably maybe half mile somewhere between there um, that's Mrs. Hunt's place and she lives down on the pond um, so her son lives in the village, which is uh, five miles from our place, five miles down the mountain. And he drives his tractor all the way up here and he plows uh, this with his tractor. Uh, he doesn't go past here. He doesn't go down our way because um, his mom doesn't live down there. And we're not going to ask him to do that because our road gets rougher than this road is. Um, this one's a private road and it's maintained by the resident and the camps. And this road, North Road right here, is a class four road. Um, it's a town road, 
but it's class four in Vermont means it's not maintained or plowed by the town. The most that they'll do, uh, as far as we as far as we've seen, um, for maintenance, fill. yeah, is they'll leave some gravel, some fill. They'll dump a dump a dump truck load or two of gravel down at the bottom of the road, and uh, whoever wants to fill it can fill it because there's another road down this way a little bit at the bottom of the hill that shoots off to the lake again, and that's another private road that's uh, has a bunch of camps around the lake. So it's summertime. Yeah, those are those are really summer mm -hmm. summer camps, three season camps. Nobody really comes out here in the winter. The most they'll do in the winter is they'll come out to shovel off their roofs. And I don't know why people would build a roof, a camp with a flat roof in Vermont. <laughs> uh, but a lot of them have pretty flat roofs, which is kind of silly. Um, so we're gonna walk back to the house now and uh, have, some have some hot beverages, whether and it's coffee, chaga, or a late birthday cake. A late birthday promise, cake. Right? Yeah, Shakoi's birthday was yesterday, but we got caught up in walking in the snow and doing nice, stuff. Nice chicken for dinner. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go do some fun baking coffee stuff. <laughs> So I just made some goat snacks. Uh, it's just cracked corn, oats, this is molasses, and a little bit of salt because it adds some minerals that they need and it just kind of gives them something to look forward to with our snowy day. So we're gonna go bring it down. So they're getting their goat snacks. Alright Della Rose. <laughs> he's such a pig. I know, he's almost done. He'll steal hers. Yeah. So she takes her time eating and he inhales it and then he'll take her food. So we have to sit here and watch him so she gets her fix. So we just got a fresh egg. That's the third one today. We're slaying down some um, hay for the goats. I'm gonna put some bedding down because it's supposed to get cold. So snow is our best friend because makes things so much easier. I'm gonna go put this in the house. You could ride it down. Do it or I'll do it. <laughs> Gotta sit farther back. There you go. Going. Now that you have a so we're only halfway done the bale, and um, it's super puffy in here. I was a goat. I definitely want to lay in here. <laughs> and this is great because it won't go to waste. Anything that they don't eat is garden feed. All right. This is actually feed hay. We've tried feeding them. We have a bunch of fight over it. <laughs> we have a few um, dusty bales, which are bales that like people bought for horses but they got a little bit of mold in them or they're too dry for their horses um, and we've used that for bedding hay but they have a tendency to eat that over their feed hay so we're just going to use the feed hay for their bedding so if they eat anything it's feed quality and like Shakur said it's not going to go to waste they'll you know when they sleep in here they'll poop in here and we'll use that for the garden they're so excited I want them to go in and see how cushy it is bringing in some firewood. Um, Michael's gonna make some kindling. Our week is gonna be in the negatives, so we have to keep this stove cooking and all the coals. 
I did end up getting my birthday cake, which was really nice. So I'm gonna go help him gather some kindling. So the chickens are spoiling us. These are all duck eggs. So ducks and chickens are both laying. Soon we're gonna have to start selling them. <laughs> 